What's going on, you guys? Your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. It's a living cinema score here with a review for Rocket Man. Okay, listen. This is the biopic for uh, Elton John, starring Taron Edgerton as Elton John. And boy, does he do it. <laughs> he does a damn good job at this. I'm just going to be honest. Now, I'll. I'll what I will say about this, this movie has been getting a lot of comparisons to like Bohemian Rhapsody, but I think after like the first five, 10 minutes, you realize this is not, that is not the same type of movie you're gonna see. Me, pers a person who loves Bohemian Rhapsody. When I think about this, the reason I say it's so much different the way the storytelling is told in this one, it's more of a, like a musical and, and they catch you off guard when you, you to me, I had it took me like a few minutes to get into this because I had to realize, I had to, uh, get into what film I was watching, because if I, by the trailers and stuff, I'm, I'm thinking of a uh, um, Bohemian Rhapsody type film. But and, this, and Dexter Fletcher actually came in to like finish like the last two weeks of shoots on Bohemian Rhapsody. So I'm thinking like, hey, maybe it's gonna be that kind of style or something. But when you realize like he's gonna kind of like popping like to like musicals and stuff like that, this, this film kind of. Uh, lends itself to more than just a straightforward biopic. But I like the way it was told. I like the way they used the music in it. Um, do I just laugh in like certain situations? I think the mo the the his childhood was like very very interesting. He comes from a household where like, he and what I say, I feel like the message was pretty heavy in this, and not in the sense the way it dragged the movie down. I felt like that was the purpose, like to get the message across. Because I felt like as a child, he really wasn't loved by his mother or father. And like his whole life, uh, you go from not being loved by the people you care about most to being loved by and adored by millions and millions of people. And you and, and it comes at you and you just don't necessarily know how to handle it. Because you don't know, you, you never know, your whole life you never know what real love felt like. You know what I'm saying? They, and you're dealing with so many different things, drug addiction. You, you know, he, yeah, he was he was uh, homosexual, so he could he he wasn't able to like put that out into the world, or it would hurt his music. So he was never able to be who he wanted to be. He always had to be somebody else behind closed doors. You know, he never accepted. He was never he never even accepted himself. He never loved himself the whole time. And so the way the movie portrays that throughout, I felt like it did a tremendous job because once you get to the end. It hits, and oh man, I, I mean, this is like a true, a true story. So you, you pretty much know how it ends. Elton John still alive. It's not like oh, Elton John gonna die at the end of the movie. No, he's he, you know he's still alive. And like and like when you get to the to the to there's I, I don't want to say it, but like when I, still standing plays, it's just like because you see so so much of the things he grow through. And it and like it's not like you know a lot of people are getting like finan financial trouble. That's not what they display. It 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 displayed like the trouble that his inner demons, the thing he was going through, and like the way like I said, the way they used it with the music, it worked because you were always aware of where he was at in his life and where the people around him was at, like where like his supports or the people who was supposed to be his support system, what they were doing though. Those, during those times or like the people he cares about the most who might not necessarily care about him you know what those people are doing like it, like him just constantly battling so much throughout and Taron Edgerton like plays it like my favorite scene with Taron Edgerton is just him just sitting in a room surrounded by people just talking it's like one of the final scenes in the film, family, just sitting around talking to a lot of other people who were in the film. And it's just my favorite because you just see, uh, and throughout, he had so many other moments that, that are great. But like, that was the one for me that I was just like, I was completely like gripped by it and, and sold on. So yeah, I, I enjoyed the hell out of this film. I thought Terry Ash did a phenomenal, I think everybody apart and, and did a phenomenal job. I think the only thing that got me is like, I didn't know what kind of movie I was walk, go, walking into. So I, like I said, after the first 10, 15 minutes, I realized, okay, this is how they're gonna tell this. I was in it and I knew exactly what to expect. And that, from that point on, moving forward, it was, it was crazy. Like the, from like, the, the those beginning moments, it's like, 
take a minute to get to. But I think when the movie really, really picks up for me is the moment he lands in LA. I'm a person, I'm from Louisiana. Still live in Louisiana. Uh, I was, I lived in LA probably four days to be honest, like four, five days. I was homeless for like five days in LA. And so I know what it's like to like, and I, I love LA, even though I was like, I said, it was like four, five, eight, but like just being there, it was just like the whole vibe. So I knew once they touched down there, it, it's just like, it feels, It if anybody ever, if you ever been there just to like pop in and pop out, you know how it feels, it feels so much different. And so that's how it felt. And, I, and not from that point on, I'm like, this movie, I know things are about to just change completely, and it did. And like, first song you hear when he's in LA, well, I think, well, it ain't the first song, I think like the second song you hear when he's in LA is Time and Down, so this is my favorite uh, Elton John song. So from that moment, I was just super, super into the film, Bob. Uh, like I said, it was slow to begin. Couple things, I kind of felt like it ran a little bit too, a little, little too long for me. Uh, but other than that, man, I enjoyed the hell out of this film so far. Rocket Man, I had to give him a B plus, solid, solid B plus, man. But you guys, let me know if you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Stay off the coke, people. Easier ways to party. <laughs> Peace out.